Halloween is almost here, boys and girls. Here is T-Rex Trick or Treat. It's by Lois G. Grambling, and it was illustrated by Jack E. Davis. T-Rex Trick or Treat. And there's our title page. You can see T-Rex, and it looks like his friends, or her friends, getting ready to trick or treat. Oh, T-Rex Trick or Treat. And I have the dedication here. It says, to Laura, Ty, Mason, and Jesse, for very special people. Who are they? My grandchildren, of course. And the illustrator said, for Kelly, Donna, and Posey. There's our dedication. It was the darkest night of the year. It was the scariest night of the year. It was Halloween. T-Rex finished carving his jack-o'-lantern. It had long, sharp, pointy teeth, just like his. He stuck a candle in it and put it in the window. Eek! screamed some trick-or-treaters passing by. T-Rex was going trick-or-treating later that night with his friends, but he hadn't decided what to wear. He knew, though, that he wanted to wear something that would make him look scary. Maybe I can wear a white sheet and be a ghost, T-Rex said. That would make me look scary. But then he remembered his friend Diplodocus was going to wear a white sheet and be a ghost. Hmm, somebody's already going to be a ghost in his group. Maybe I can wear something with bones painted on it and be a skeleton, T-Rex said. That would make me look scary. But then he remembered his friend Stegosaurus was going to wear something with bones painted on it and be a skeleton. Oh no, somebody's already giving me a skeleton too. Maybe I can wear a pointy hat and be a witch, T-Rex said. That would make me look scary. But then he remembered his friend Iguanodon was going to wear a pointy hat and be a witch. Oh, can't be that either. T-Rex was beginning to worry. What would he wear tonight? Just then his doorbell rang. Trick or treat, shouted a scary ghost that was his friend Diplodocus. Trick or treat, shouted a scary skeleton that was his friend Stegosaurus. Trick or treat, shouted a scary witch that was his friend Iguanodon. T-Rex invited them in. Oh, they're all ready to go trick or treating. You aren't dressed, said Diplodocus. I haven't decided what to wear, said T-Rex. Decide sooner, all the treats will be gone, said Iguanodon. T-Rex didn't want that to happen. Do you have any suggestions, he asked. Oh. Any suggestions? Maybe you could wear a pair of giant wings and be a bat, said Diplodocus. Not scary enough, said T-Rex, frowning. Oh, not a bat. Maybe you could wear some twitchy whiskers and be a black cat, said Stegosaurus. Not scary enough, said T-Rex, frowning a big frown. Not a bat and not a cat. Maybe you could wear a carved out pumpkin and carry a candle and be a jack-o'-lantern. Like the one in your window, said Iguanodon. Eek! screamed some passing trick-or-treaters. Not scary enough, said T-Rex, frowning a very big frown. Diplodocus and Stegosaurus and Iguanodon stared at their friend. Maybe you should go trick-or-treating tonight as yourself, just wearing that very big frown, they said. I don't want to go trick-or-treating tonight as myself, wearing this very big frown. T-Rex said, I want to go trick-or-treating wearing something that will make me look scary. I don't know. I think he looks a little scary already. <laughs> Diplodocus and Stegosaurus and Iguanodon stared at their friend again. Wearing that very big frown, you do look scary, they said. T-Rex looked in the mirror. Eek, he screamed. I do. Eek, he screamed again. I even scare myself. And with you wearing that very big frown, said Diplodocus, looking so very scary, said Stegosaurus, what do you think we'll get when we ring doorbells tonight, said Iguanodon. Lots of treats, said T-Rex. Later that night, later that dark Halloween night, as soon as their trick-or-treat bags filled up, and they filled up fast, T-Rex stopped frowning and started smiling. Eek! screamed some late trick-or-treaters, staring up at Tyrannosaurus Rex's long, sharp, pointy teeth. Eek! they screamed again as they hurried off into the darkness. <laughs> Diplodocus and Stegosaurus and Iguanodon stared at their friend. 
Maybe next Halloween, said Diplodocus. Instead of wearing a very big frown, said Stegosaurus, you should wear that very big smile, said Iguanodon. Now that would be really scary, the three friends said. T-Rex said he would think about it. Happy Halloween, everybody. And there's that scared trick-or-treater again. T-Rex trick-or-treats.